multiple sites together. Hello, tree. Thank you for shade. Hello, mountain cat. Thank you for controlling local rat population. Hello, windmill. Thank you for the cheese ride and ball cooling. Next week, bullet trains. Hello! Hey, Dad, are you busy? I was thinking we could spend some time together. Not good. He still thinks this is practice of some sort. But you promised we'd go fishing. Ah, uh, Chris, I was just lying to you so you'd go away. But if you leave me alone now, I'll give you a billion dollars. You've got a deal. Peter, you know, it might help Chris to be able to spend some time with his father. Well, what's in it for old Pete? He's your son. Don't you want someone to... Come on! Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. You guys, that was my mom. She said that daddy broke his leg. How? Apparently, he got hurt at the mall. Carter, please stop doing that. We need to get you some new corduroys. Bane's magazine. So, are you gonna go take care of him, Mom? I can't go. I've gotta go get my hair very minutely changed and then spend the next 14 hours trying to get people to notice. Well? Lois, well, move. You're blocking the TV. <laughs> what do you think? I think you're blocking the TV. Well, what about Chris? Wait, wait, where is Chris? He's upstairs in his room. That's odd. He never misses a meal. I better go check on him. Yeah, good idea. I better check on my hairless twin in the storm shed. Close the door! The moonlight burns! It's almost Christmas. It's almost Christmas. Christmas? Yes, keep being good. Sit down. You know I love you, right, sweetie? Mom, not in front of my posters. And your father loves you, too. He just has trouble expressing his emotions. I love Mike and Molly. I love Mike, and I also love Molly. And I don't care who knows it. You know, Chris, you've got a grandpa who could use your... Sucks about your leg, Grandpa. How you been doing? Well, let me tell you, this is awful. I I'm so bored. I can't sleep. I, I just have to lie here and wait for my stupid leg to heal. Oh, I'm really sorry, Grandpa. And the worst part about it is I can't have sex. God, I wish there was a way I could just do it myself. You know, hey, next time I want to try it with my hand. Hey, Grandpa, what should we do now? You want to order a pizza? Well, that doesn't sound very exciting. But now you can follow your order online. There it is. It's on Van Buren. Oh, oh, he's almost here. Wow, he's really fast. Hey, I got an idea. Let's put in two different orders and have a... Don't look up. You're not a part of this. It's sounding really good, Grandpa. I know, I know. Sorry I'm late. Look, Jason, are you taking this seriously? Because Chris and I take this seriously. You know, if you're not going to show up to rehearsal, we'll find someone else who will. All right, we want to get some paying gigs. Sorry, gee. Fell in the shower, so maybe we do need that bar. A five, six, seven, eight. Listen, Chris, I really want to thank you for coming to take care of me and helping me get well again. No, it was no big deal. Well, it is to me, and I want to give you some money for all your time. <laughs> Come on, you, you don't have to do that. I just like getting to spend time with my grandpa, you know. Fresh. <laughs> we're, we're, we're not supposed to be doing this. I bet we're not supposed to be doing this. Teddy, you're all better. That's right, Pumpkin, and I have an important announcement to make. I have decided to change my will and name my grandson Chris the sole heir to the pewter... Daddy, you're seriously leaving your entire estate to Chris? I, I mean, what about Mom? I promise she'll be dead before I am. I promise. But, Grandpa, I don't even want the money. See? This is exactly why you should get it. So refreshing. Well, I, I don't want it either. Good, because you're not getting it. Come on, what are you doing? Listen, Carter, you take me at work. Name just one. Um, well, you know, poor green whale guns books. You are such a fraud. Why won't anyone help us? What the hell? I can't believe your dad's given all his credit. It was fine. Thanks. Anyway, I don't plan on losing out on any of that money. So if you ask me, we gotta start sucking up to Chris right away. What? What are you talking about? I'm talking about brown nosing Chris and getting on his good side perk. No, that's wrong. No perk. Okay, my bad. 
But, but I've been counting on that money, Lois. It's always been critical to my master plan. What masters? Oh, boy, hot dogs and Nintendo, huh, Chris? Dad, what are you doing? What's going on? <laughs> Good one, Chris. <laughs> Good one. Why are you dressed like that? I don't know. I, I just kind of felt like this is what cool people wear. Hey, hey, Chris, how about you and me do a secret handshake that has way too many steps to remember? All right? Okay. Shake, bump, bump, slap, pinky hook. We now return to the director's cut of Mission Impossible 5 with the step stools not edited out. You're coming with me because I'm definitely over six feet and you're not handsome. Hey, Chris, hey, you remember that kid you said was bullying you at school? Well, here's his head. Ah! That's not even him. That's the deaf kid. Oh, that was sign language. The joke. Who's the guy? That's not a guy. That's the hot chick. Where are her boobs? Flat with a decent face was the best we could hope for back then. Miley Cyrus had sex with a foam finger at like 6 p.m. Central Time. This movie has a canoe that slowly sinks. All right, you know what? Forget it. I'm just going to take my VCR, my VCR head cleaning tape, my VCR head cleaning spray. My really took me out of it. Well, that's a shame because visually... Ooh. Ooh. When we come back, the guys will review American Hustle. Hmm? Hey, you guys. Jeez, Peter, you look exhausted. Uh, I am. I've been busting my ass for the last week trying to suck up to Chris. The Chris? What the hell for? Well, Carter kind of decided he's going to leave. Well, you know what? I say good for Chris and whatever lucky girl he ends up marrying. Yeah, or lucky guy if he ends up being gay. Lucky guy? Wait a minute. You guys just gave me an idea. <laughs> What's he doing up there? He's a cat. He can't play no tuba. No, wait. Will you marry me? What? Is it even legal for a man to marry his son? It is in Vermont. As long as it's a man and a man, anything goes up there. They're a bunch of liberal degenerates. I don't know. It seems really weird. I mean, aren't men supposed to marry women? No, no, no. That's just all of human history except for the last five months. We'll just be like best pals. You just get to spend all your time together doing things like playing catch and going fishing, right? Well, the best marriages give each other space, but yes, Chris. Then yes, I will marry you, Dad. Oh, that's wonderful news. You should know this ring is very special. It used to belong to your mother. Wait, what about Mom? I'm afraid that's over, Chris. No, Dad. I don't know what normal is anymore. So now you know my complete sexual history, Chris. Wow. I'm surprised you got fooled by a bear in a wig. So, should we get started with your bridal registry? Yeah, um, I'd like to furnish my kitchen as if I'm the greatest chef in the world, even though I've never cooked before. <laughs> That's what we do. Okay, great. All right, we'll start with the nine grand in copper bottom cookware. The couple that barely made it through the weekend without breaking up? Absolutely. Can I put them near the couple that hooked up drunk and now have to make awkward small talk until their cab to the airport arrives? Sure, and maybe they could go next to the vastly underdressed cousin who thinks the world revolves around him? I have just the spot. Will there be a physically frail fall-down uncle? Indeed, and we'd like to have him walk through a maze of chair legs. Anything else? Yes, we Stars and Stripes Forever by John Philip Sousa. March! 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 Can you feel the soldiers, Chris? So many have fallen, and this is why they were fighting. For a man to marry his son in a state with enough trees around that nobody can see what's going on. Oz? Chris, to express my love, I turn to the words of the only poet that blue-collar New England scumbags like me know, Robert Frost. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled. Now, I ain't no scholar, but if that's not a metaphor for Major League butt stuff, I don't know what is. Thank you. Not do this! You cannot marry your son. I don't care how much money Daddy's left him. Don't listen to your mother, Chris. It's because of her we have bedtimes. Chris, come on. We're going home. He can't make you do this. But, Mom, I want to do this. What? I know he's marrying me for my money, but I don't care. Dad and I spent more time together planning this wedding than... I'll make it up to you, starting right now. Chris Griffin, will you be my son? Yes, Dad. OMG, the photographer is, like, obsessed with me.
Well, let's all go home, you guys. I think we've had enough excitement for one day. Yeah, and I guess I learned it's wrong to take your son to Vermont under false pretense.